Spleen disorders encompass a variety of conditions that affect the spleen, an organ located in the upper left side of the abdomen. The spleen plays a crucial role in filtering blood, recycling iron, and supporting the immune system by storing white blood cells and platelets. Disorders of the spleen can be broadly categorized into enlargement, splenomegaly, rupture, and functional asplenia or hypasplenia, where the spleen is either absent or underactive. Splenomegaly can result from numerous causes, including infections such as mononucleosis, liver diseases like cirrhosis, cancers such as leukemia and lymphoma, and inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. Ruptured spleen typically results from trauma and is a medical emergency due to the risk of internal bleeding. The causes of spleen disorders vary widely depending on the specific condition. Infections such as bacterial, viral, or parasitic infections can lead to an enlarged spleen. Liver diseases, particularly cirrhosis, cause congestion in the spleen leading to splenomegaly. Hematologic cancers like leukemia and lymphoma can infiltrate the spleen and cause its enlargement. Autoimmune diseases, where the body's immune system attacks its tissues, can also affect the spleen. Trauma to the abdomen is a common cause of a ruptured spleen, while congenital conditions or surgical removal can result in asplenia or hypasplenia. Risk factors for spleen disorders include pre-existing liver disease, certain types of infections, hematologic cancers, autoimmune conditions, and abdominal injuries. Genetic factors and lifestyle choices, such as alcohol consumption leading to liver disease, can also play a role. Symptoms of spleen disorders depend on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. Splenomegaly may cause discomfort or pain in the upper left abdomen, feeling full after eating a small amount of food, fatigue, and frequent infections. A ruptured spleen can cause sudden, severe pain in the upper left abdomen, tenderness, and signs of internal bleeding such as dizziness and fainting. Asplenia or hypasplenia might not cause direct symptoms but increases susceptibility to infections. Treatment options for spleen disorders vary with the condition. For infections causing splenomegaly, treating the underlying infection with antibiotics or antiviral medications is necessary. In cases of liver disease, managing the underlying condition can help reduce spleen size. Hematologic cancers may require chemotherapy, radiation, or targeted therapies. For autoimmune conditions, immunosuppressive medications might be used. A ruptured spleen often requires immediate surgery to stop internal bleeding. In cases of asplenia or hypasplenia, vaccinations and prophylactic antibiotics are critical to prevent infections. Surgical management for spleen disorders typically involves a splenectomy, which is the removal of the spleen. This procedure may be performed laparoscopically or via open surgery, depending on the patient's condition and the surgeon's recommendation. For trauma cases, an emergency splenectomy may be necessary to control bleeding. In cases of splenomegaly caused by hematologic cancers, a splenectomy might be part of the treatment plan if the spleen is significantly enlarged or causing severe symptoms. A comprehensive nursing care plan for patients with spleen disorders involves education, symptom management, and postoperative care. Nurses play a vital role in educating patients about the importance of vaccinations and preventive antibiotics, especially for those with asplenia or hypasplenia. Symptom management includes pain control, monitoring for signs of infection, and ensuring patients adhere to their treatment regimens. Postoperative care for splenectomy patients includes monitoring for complications such as infection or bleeding, managing pain, and encouraging gradual return to normal activities. Nurses also provide emotional support and resources to help patients adapt to life without a spleen and understand the long-term implications of their condition. Understanding spleen disorders, their causes, risk factors, symptoms, treatment options, and the importance of comprehensive care can significantly improve patient outcomes and quality of life. Effective management often involves a combination of medical, surgical, and nursing interventions. Subscribe to us for more videos like this and visit bizarrebiblio.com for notes and free PDF books. Thank you.